Hello and welcome to the final day of Bus Week New South Wales edition. It's been a big and more in-depth series than many past bus weeks, so let's do a quick recap. On Monday we started off with a Transit Systems Mercedes 0500 LE, which lived a past life a little further north. On Tuesday we travelled through the Tweed on a Surfside Bus Lines Bus Tech XDI, ending up in Pottsville. On Wednesday the Madawi Shuttle was my ride of choice, on board a Hunter Valley Buses MAN 11220, and yesterday we travelled on a State Transit Volvo B12 BLE, fitted with a Volgren CR228L body. So, let's finish off this week with our fifth and final bus, a Punchbowl Bus Company Scania L94UB, fitted with a custom CB60 body. one of Sydney's smaller route operators who run services throughout the inner west. There's also a PBC Goulburn Division, but the websites of the two companies don't link up, which I find slightly strange. Back to Strathfield, where today's journey starts, we can start having a look around 7841, today's bus. Built in mid-2002, you can clearly tell this bus is starting to show its age, although a lick of Transport for New South Wales Blue has made this bus look a little bit more contemporary. Punchbowl used to have a red and beige livery, and while it looked dated on modern buses, individual liveries are a great way to differentiate areas of service and individual operators. I even read a great UK based transport research article about the importance of operator liveries, and I spent a good 15 minutes trying to find it again. Sadly, I couldn't. Punchbowl's interiors are known for being minimalist. In a world where just about every new bus has cloth seats, Punch Bowl insists on using vinyl. Thankfully, this bus is air conditioned as vinyl seats without aircon are really unpleasant, but were normal until the late 1990s. Apart from choosing vinyl over cloth, it is quite a standard affair. Although, many L94 UBs were seen with Volgren bodies instead, as operated by Brisbane Transport, Hornybrook Bus Lines, Hills bus. Of course, there are exceptions like this CB60, Parkridge Transits, and Westside's Bus Tech bodied L94UBs, and Westside's North Coast Downtown bodied L94UB. Judging by the age of this bus, my guess is it has either the 230 or 260 horsepower version of Scania's DS9 engine offering 1100 or 1250 newt meters of torque. So let's have a listen now.
It's always good to try something different and while many transport enthusiasts pick favourites, I enjoy variety. Something like this Scania might not offer the best or cleanest passenger experience, but I never marketed this channel as a transport enthusiast space. Sure, I find public transport exciting, even fascinating at times, but my goals for this channel have always been to include an advocacy focus. So it's important to think about what quality of service we get and whether you like this sort of scanner or not, there's always room for improvement. And because I like variety, I launched the Bus Week series, which puts all of it into an easy to use format. In fact, this is my sixth bus week, and it is a series which I enjoy producing, although it always takes a lot of work to pull each series together. But anyway, I'm almost at my stop, so let's press the bell, as I better get ready to finish my trip. Let's watch today's bus continue on its way out to Hurstville. Yep, it's Sunday the 11th of July. I am at Newcastle Beach. And I just wanted to say a big thank you so much for joining in and watching this week's series. It's been a big one to put together, but I've also realised that I'd rather just spend basically a full weekend getting it done because quite frankly, things are probably going to get worse before they get better. So I thought that you'd probably want something to watch and enjoy as the situation unfolds to take a little bit of, you know, a load off your mind. There's a lot happening and quite frankly, long-term lockdowns are pretty ordinary when it comes to mental health so you know I thought I'd try and push this one out a little bit early so you've got something to watch something to enjoy so if you have enjoyed this series I'd really appreciate it if you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I want to say a big thanks so much for joining me and I will see you again soon